black queen stilt. It's my favorite bird, so you could call me stilt. Today we come to Jiangwan Wetland, and some part of it was later developed into real estate or very business buildings or commercial things. But still, a part of nature reserve here in this wetland, small part of the wetland. Today we come here. Hopefully, we could find some wintering bird like the thrush and warblers. And maybe we could find some wetland dependent bird, and maybe we could find other animals. So let's see what we can find. Oriental man. Long tailed shrike, little predator. And it's a quite clever bird. They like to hang their prey on the trees so that it makes them easier to eat and store the food. Nice. Uh, wagtail. They like to wag its tail, so it's called wagtail. <laughs> A group of Chinese grosbeak. They are wintering birds in Shanghai and often troubles in groups and eat this kind of seeds in, on the trees. They are very strong beaks, can process this kind of seeds very efficiently. Mm -hmm. The little grub is a very common water bird in Shanghai region and they are very good divers. They can dive into the water for several minutes and catch fish. Common mohen, Kishuiji. It has very obvious red bills, and here it's yellow. On the back of the wing, it's a white part, stripe of white. There, little egret. It's very common in this river areas, and someone even say it's too common. There are little egret, intermediate egret, and great egret in Shanghai. Besides the size difference, the biggest difference is that the little egret, they have yellow to green toes, but for the intermediate and great egret, they have black toes. When you're observing a little egret, you can often see this kind of behavior. They are shaking their feet in the water. Uh, it's a way to disturb their prey, like the fish or small insects from the bottom of the water, and then they can catch them very quickly. Nice. It's called a grey-backed thrush, but actually it's more obvious. The orange color is more obvious. When it flies, it has a big orange part under the wing. birds here and also we saw some interesting behaviors like the little grubs shaking feet thing and it's already reserved as an open place for people to visit and for wildlife to share. We really hope this areas could be kept. So see you next time in Wild Shanghai.